Hi everyone, Jim with CD Nova again, and today we're looking at the Sharp Model 5030i Particulate Monitor. And if I zoom in, you'll see here it has a Model 5030i and it says Sharp. So Sharp stands for Synchronized Hybrid Ambient Real-Time Particulate Monitor. Sharp. So this is a real-time beta detector and light scattering detector as well. So at the top, it has a nephilometer light scattering device. So sample will come down through a mast, which is run up through the top of an air quality station. And as air sample passes down through this nephilometer with uh, any particulate, that particulate will be detected by the light scattering source inside this instrument here. So that's the nephilometer light scattering. So that's the first stage of the sharp particulate monitor. And if we come around the side, we can see the tape assembly for the beta detector. So this device has a beta radiation, beta radiation source inside of it. So there's a clean source of tape here for the particulate to collect onto. So as sample passes down through the light scattering detector, the first stage, the nephilometer, so air particulate is measured by this stage, it will pass down through the bottom tube and into the beta detector right here and we can take a quick look at what that beta detector looks like i can just simply pop this up here and underneath we have the beta detection source so inside of here there is a c14 beta radiation source and it simply bombards the tape down inside with beta radiation so if you look down in you can see that little white circle, that's the actual tape that you see here passing through this aluminum block, which is the beta detector block. So a specific area is sampled upon, you can see the little circles of past samples. So each one of these circles will represent about an eight hour sample of particulate readings. So what happens is that particulate collects on the surface of the tape and the beta detection principle is the beta radiation is attenuated as more particulate is collected onto the tape. So that's how that principle works, just simply beta attenuation by particulate collected on the filter tape on that specific surface area. So as that tape is spent, is reaches a particulate level of about eight hours of sampling, this head will, will lift and the tape will advance and a new clean area of tape will, will stop in that spot and it'll start to sample again. So beta detection, I'll just put this back down. Beta, beta attenuation, there we go. Is done by monitoring each one of these little surface areas. So for example, this is one eight hour sample of particulate. And as that particulate gets more and more uh, captured onto this filter, the, uh, the less radiation that will pass through the filter, it will be attenuated, so beta attenuation. So this entire assembly is just simply a clean take up of tape, passes through and into the uh, head assembly, is monitored for about eight hours, and then the pump will stop, this head will, arrive, will lift by this motor assembly, the tape will advance, and a new piece, a new section of tape will be uh, stopped and then sampling will continue for about another eight hours. So coming around the back, there's a connector for pump power, the vacuum tube for the pump, uh, calibration for pressure sensors here, uh, ethernet port, RS-485, monitor connector, this connector, you can have your analog outputs to a data logger, digital input control, power fail relay, and even some digital alarm outputs on this connector right here. Come back around. So this is an I-series, much like the gas analyzers platform. It has the processor board with the motherboard as a DC power supply. And it has an interface board just inside of here. Here's the motor that will drive the tape assembly over here. Solenoid valve. You can see the, the tube for the high voltage power supply, which powers the beta detector. 
And this is the cable for the nephilometer right here. And to simply remove it, you can just lift off. And there's just an O-ring under, underneath for the sealing process. So that is the model 5030i beta detector. And again, it's a synchronized hybrid ambient real-time particulate monitor. That's what the SHARP stands for. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Thank you.